A good example would be your boss walks up to you, says, hey, run me some numbers and see what the growth is between February first week and February second week. Think about what happens in the second week of February. It's Valentine's Day. We are all frantically buying stuff for our loved ones. But if you're in a retail world, you're in a flower business, and you are comparing the first week of data to your second week of February data, you've introduced bias in your analysis. What if you had a product release on the 10th of February? You are reporting a 20% growth, but obviously that week was going to drive a lot of volume irrespective of what you do. And I think these are the traps that you gotta watch, especially when you have new product releases, right? Because your data that you have first week versus second week has some bias in it.